first we need to understand uh, what rent to own is. First of all, rent to own or lease to purchase, lease, lease purchase is what people usually call it, is actually an option contract. It gives uh, the person, the renter, let's call it what it really is, the option to buy at some future date. Usually that date is defined within the option contract, um, most usually a year to maybe three years. Three years is usually the longest period of time that is uh, prescribed in the option contract. If you don't purchase within that term, that time period that is defined within that contract, then whatever money, um, deposit, down payment, whatever you brought to the contract on the front end is lost. Um, even more, to make it clear, whatever you brought in, it's, it now belongs to the seller and your option to buy is no longer a contract. It expires within that one year, three years, six months, whatever that term period is. If you remain in the property beyond that option, then you are seriously, completely a renter and subject to the terms that the new contract will put in there. So whatever the amount that you are paying on a monthly basis toward rent could increase. Um, they could require different things going forward in that rental contract. Additionally, the reason that you don't buy, qualify for a um, purchase, because most people are buying or getting a lease purchase because they don't qualify today for a mortgage. So most people choose to go ahead and get a lease purchase and then purchase later in the future. The reason to that you did that has to be cured in the future in order to get a, lease, a mortgage. So if you had a thousand dollars, just a round number that you needed to pay off to something else, you have to get that cured before you could qualify for a loan in the future. And interest rates change, the guidelines for a loan change. So you still need to get that thing cured. And I can tell you 90% of the people don't. So these are the reasons that I don't typically... Uh, suggest or advise my clients to do a lease purchase because they don't usually work out. You have to get these things cured and corrected before you can actually make that purchase. Also, lease purchase, rent to own, you can't will it, you can't sell it, you can't uh, reap any benefits from it until you actually make the purchase. So in my opinion, someone else may not agree, it's not a good deal for my clients. And I usually say you're better off just getting that, that problem or that issue cured today and then actually by next week. That's my opinion.